Last time on Earthbound, I somehow, amazingly in my opinion, made it to Happy Happy Blue Village. I didn't think I was going to be able to make it without grinding up a few more levels, but... But here we are. Continuing our search for Paige. But before we do that, I need to see what items they have here. Hmm. A Sandlot Bat. That is worth upgrading to. Um, I'm actually going to withdraw a lot of money here. Because I'm also going to get that copper bracelet, I think. Balance of 615. Man. You know what? Maybe I won't get that copper bracelet yet. However, I am going to withdraw 200. Because I want a little bit extra. Just in case there's something else I want to stock up on here. That old man might have some items for us. Oh, Yep. Let's get rid of... This worthless... Stinking slingshot. Oh, good lord. I'm glad that I finally remembered to get rid of it. Only because I had to. Oh, whoops. I actually do want to equip that here. Takes our offense up to 40. I don't know what it was with the slingshot, 37 or something like that. Not a huge jump, but it works. Hmm. Cup of coffee, fruit juice. A refreshing herb. I believe that helps restore your psi points, but... Never mind. We'll deposit the rest of this. I thought he might have something better, or at least cheaper. I'm not willing to spend $80 on what would probably only be an item that replenishes something like 10 or 20 side points. Not really worth it. Already talked to you? The information on the back of the refreshing herb reads as follows. If you catch a cold, if you're ill, or if you can't seem to heal, if you're poisoned, if you're depressed, a refreshing herb is the real deal. I know it seems pretty iffy, but you should give it a try. Okay, never mind. I thought it restored side points. But still, it's not something that I want. There's a place ahead that can't be painted blue. It's a strange and anti-blue place. I can't stop thinking about it. I can't even go near that place for some reason. I think that those who won't paint everything blue are opposed to peace. I want them all to listen even if it requires kicking their butts. Yes, that is the true way to peace. I'm monitoring those who don't pay at the food stand. Hmm. What happens if we don't pay? We trust you. Feel free to shop here. What would you like to buy? A banana or a fresh egg? Um, neither. I think the banana can be used in battle, if I haven't mentioned it. I heard many footprints exist deep down in the East Cave. People call that place Lilliput Steps, and it makes them feel uneasy. I wonder if it has any relation to Giant Step. One day, Mr. Car Painter received a revelation. He now speaks the real truth, the blue truth. Excuse me, tourist, how did you know? I'm collecting donations to help protect the world from contaminants. Donate whatever you can. Okay, I donate zero. Incredible! I can't believe people exist who have no money at all. Blue, blue. Yeah. Sometimes it pays to have money. I don't know if it would have been a good or a bad thing to donate to them. I can't remember. Mr. Carpainter communicates with the divine. So he is able to deliver inspired messages to us all. I not sure. Boing. Friends and Valley Behind a Threed. Ding, ding. What a strange voice. Butterfly. Come here. Okay, first heal up. So it's good to know that there's a butterfly location here. I need to mentally make, make a map of where all these butterflies are. They will save me a ton of money. Hey, you. That overweight kid helped me. We kidnapped Paige. You know she's hidden in a mountain cabin? Oh, oh. Oh, boy. Now I've done it. 
I thought you were one of us, but hey, you know I was just joking. <laughs> just, just forget about this, or else. Okay, you see these guys here? They will attack me. I'm, I'm not sure if I can beat them yet. Mr. Carpenter wants a girl. No, I don't mean it like that. I mean he's looking for a girl who can be the high priestess of happy happyism. I heard he's already got her. That is just creepy. What does he want with Paige? What's he gonna do? How can you make somebody be a high priestess? The blue cow? Meager living farm. Lodgings available. Hey cow. I'm just a plain old cow. But Mr. Carpenter's messages always move me. I wonder if that cow makes blue cheese. We're all like one big happy family here in Happy Happy Village. Basically, our policy is to only allow family members to stay here in the village. However, if you are interested in learning about Happy Happyism, we may make an exception and let you stay for $50. No thank you. Never have I heard such disrespect. Get out and stay out. To be honest, I'm not sure I could trust staying here anyways. Excuse me, mustached man. You know what I say about mustaches. You'll find out that I'm, I'm true. That that's true. That I am correct. Hello, you. You want to talk to Mr. Carpainter directly? You must think you're pretty important. And boy, do you have a lot of nerve. You deserve to be struck by lightning. Oh, do I? Hmm. Not sure if I should even be here yet. Blue, blue. Oh, you'd like to be one of us? Then give up what you're doing and go meet the great Mr. Carpenter as soon as possible. What is it? A croissant? Yeah, I can wait. Honestly, I don't I don't think I'm supposed to be here yet. Hmm. Nope, I'm gonna go check out some other places real quick. And then we'll come back through here. Go on another little journey. Because I want to know how to get to that house. And I know it's probably, most likely, through this cave right here. Because the other one leads to Lilliput. Uh, hey guys, nope. <laughs> Certainly not. Okay, you know what? I will attack them if they're still here. I can't be running from all combat. We made it. And a butterfly attacked us. Ooh, that's good to know there's a butterfly there, too. Crap. You know what? I think those crows were going to run away from us anyways. Knock, knock. Is anybody home? Look. Who? Are you plump? Plump! I'm so glad it's you. I had a dream that a boy named Plump, plump was my destiny. I know it's hard to believe. Therefore, I knew you would rescue me. If you didn't come, I would have to try to bust out of here. You can't open the door, though. You'll have to get the key from Carpenter. He's got it hidden away. I heard Carpenter can control lightning. In that case, you should wear this Franklin badge, okay? What? Do you want to get fried by lightning? Just get rid of something so that I can give this badge to you. Okay, I will. Hmm, Mr. Baseball Cap. Must be equipped as other. It is said to have been given to your friend by a famous player at the ballpark. Hmm. I guess I'll just have to eat a hamburger. I'm not going to drop that baseball cap. I'm going to send it to my sister. We're going to hang on to it. Therefore, I knew you would rescue me. Yep. some delicious hot tea. We got the Franklin badge. I'll wait here, Plump, until you return. Just come back here and get me out once you defeat Carpenter. Don't worry about me. Just kick butt like I know you can. 
Okay. We can't let her down. Oh, it traveled. I didn't know it went on the body slot. Wow. Okay. Um, so does the Franklin badge just work by being in my inventory then? That's good to know. That is really good to know. Oh, really? Hey, plump. You're just here to bother me, aren't you? You can call me Master Pokey now, since Mr. Carpainter made me an important person in Happy Happyism. You should join us, but I know you won't. I'm glad I joined, though. But I'm not gonna fight you over it. These guys will. Later, Potato. Great. <laughs> Thanks, Pokey. They trapped us. I'm not even, well... Okay, first, let me use a shield, actually. Because I'm not sure how dangerous these guys are going to be. They're painting us blue. I can't believe it. The paint splashes on our face. Coating our eyes. Yeah, you keep laughing, Mr. Mr. Crow person. Crow thingy. Crow bro. Please die. Yes. These guys aren't too tough then. They're mostly fluff. We'll finish the cultist first here. And then we're gonna smack this crow down. Ow, my eye! He plucks out an eyelash. He's quick, huh? He's real quick. Oh, that jerk. He's probably gonna run away. Good. I want that hamburger back. Wow. I think we might have splattered the hamburger everywhere with that hit. Oh, 709 experience, nice. Level 15, offense 1, defense 1, speed 1, luck 1. Hit point only by 2 again. And side points only by 2, and I didn't get my hamburger back. Come back here, fatty! I'm gonna give you a wedgie. Okay, before we go any further, I'm gonna try to get this butterfly to cycle through. Because I would really appreciate being replenished here. Hmm. Give it a few more times. Take a few more drinks. Well, that one was close, but I don't have any mountain gear, so I can't climb. Oh, come on, butterfly. Okay, last time. Last chance. We just got lucky on that first try. I don't know how I avoided that crow, but okay. I'm not afraid of you happy blue blue people. We're gonna have to be fighting a lot of these guys coming up. So, might as well get used to them. Wow. I wonder if the Sandlot Bat has a higher chance to critical. As long as it doesn't continually whiff like the slingshot. 706 experience. How many of those battles would I need to do to level up? Um... You know what? I am actually going to... I'm gonna get in that fight again twice. I'm gonna do that two more times. I wanna level up before I try to go fight Mr. Carpainter. He's not the nicest guy in the world. Hmm. Let's hope I could bump into the butterfly. Come here, Mr. Blue Blue guys. Why are you, why are you so scared now? You all were so mouthy earlier. There we go. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll let them hit me a few times and then I'll heal up. 
I don't want to waste any of my side points if I don't have to. Feel free to run away crying if this bat hurts too much. Okay. Time to heal up. Just in case one of them gets a critical. Probably not going to happen because I don't think these guys have a lot of guts. But you never know. Oh. I was not counting on that. Oh well. That just means more experience for me without having to go into another battle. The paint splashes across our chest. Looking like a horrible sword wound. Except with blue. Oh, come on, guys. This is getting to be a bit much now. Can wear you down with attrition, apparently. Okay, if anyone else shows up, I'm just going to use my Psy attack. <laughs> Help, the cultists! They're overwhelming me. Actually, you know what? No. So far, this is actually... It's not too bad. Nine damage. Uh, it's not like it's going to overwhelm me. Yeah! Okay, this bat must have a higher chance to critical. I like it. I like it a lot. No. Dang it. I wonder if I could go through the entire alphabet. What happens if you get to, like, Cultist Z? Does it loop back around? Does the game break? Oh, come on, hurry up and die. I'll heal outside of battle. Got him. Well, that's definitely a level. 2,000 experience. Level 16. Oh, baby. Offense by 6? Wow. Speed by 1. Guts by 2. Vitality by 3. IQ by 2. This is a great level. Hit points by 37. Side points by 8. This is amazing. I'm glad I did that battle. Let's see. Only 1600 for another level? It's tempting to try and grind up another level here. Hmm. You know what? If, we can, if the butterfly is out here, eh, we're going to get in a fight anyways on the way back through here. I guess it doesn't matter if the butterfly is there or not. Or we won't get into a fight, okay. That's fine too. I have to I have to get another fight here. That experience was just too delicious to pass up. And I really don't want to try to fight my way all the way to Mr. Carpainter just to get my butt kicked. And then have to be doing this anyways. Yeah. Come on, call for help. Do it, you little crybaby. Spread those tears everywhere. Make your friends show up. Or not. I was really looking forward to that. Some more delicious experience. 700 experience per battle. I can't believe it. Just gonna milk this while I can. Okay. Come here, Mr. Butterfly. You know, I want to see what these crows are doing. The spiteful crow. Is aren't these the crows we were fighting at the very beginning of the game? Or what were those crows called? Yeah, I'm not going to be fighting these things primarily because they steal my stuff. But I doubt the experience is that good. Only three experience. Yay, a cookie! Which is so totally worth it. I'm just surprised I didn't beat that thing instantly. Whenever we bumped into it. Happy, happy. Blue, blue. 
It looks like they're wearing blue Christmas stockings. Are they? Seventy-two damage with one hit. Oh. See that one level added like what four or five damage per hit? I didn't gain any defense, unfortunately. And I guess they're getting tired of getting their butts kicked because they're no longer showing up. Whenever they call for help. Aha, there we go. Now see, you wasted one or two of your turns calling for help here. Because you're gonna need it. We hit him with the baseball bat and knock the paintbrush out of his hand. While he bends over to pick it up, we bing, bring the bat down on the back of his head and he drops to the ground. Oh yeah. Level 17. Hit points by 3. Wham! <laughs> that, that was, that's not what I was expecting at all. Okay, 3,000 experience to level up. I think what I will do here is, um... Okay, first, let's eat the cookie. I'm gonna withdraw some money, buy something. Wait a second, let me see something. What do I need from here? Croissant, skip sandwich, lucky sandwich. The fruit juice and coffee, I think, are really only good if you have condiments. Like, coffee needs creamer, I believe. Cold Remedy Refreshing Herb. Oh, yeah. No, I'll be fine. So, I need $68. Wow. Up to 1000 Oh, I did it again. So, we could, we could grind money here really easy. In fact, you know what? Maybe I should buy that... Okay, yeah, I am going to buy that bracelet. There we go. Because we have a lot of money now. And I want all the defense that I can get. Okay. Croissant probably doesn't heal me for very much, but... It's, um... Better than having nothing, I guess. Okay, the cheap bracelet... Going to remove that so I can sell it. Hello. Whoops. I don't. Th yeah, I can't buy this, can I? Um. Yeah. That's what I wanted to do first. You can tell I have problems with these menus. Um, cheap bracelet. Forty-nine dollars. Yeah, that's a better price than I thought it would be. Okay, and the copper bracelet is what I want. Mm, that's not too bad. I don't think I need anything else, do I? No, nothing else will help us. The Holmes hat, I don't know. That might have some special abilities or something. But at the same time, um Okay, first, let's call Dad. I'm gonna save the game here. Yep. I'm just beating up some crazy cultists, Dad. Enjoy your day at the office or wherever it is that you're working. Or maybe he's on vacation. That might be what's going on. I'm not sure yet. Yeah, this is your dad. I'm calling you from the beach. Okay. We'll deposit... $99. Because I need 50 so that I can go stay in that creepy blue-blue house and heal up before this fight. Because there's nowhere else to uh, heal up that I know of. Again, I wish, that I, I wish that I was closer to back home. No, go away. No. No. I'll be your shadow then. No. Help. This creepy lady's stalking me, trying to solicit donations. Isn't that illegal here? I thought I saw a sign that said no soliciting. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. I'll sleep in your creepy blue blue. Very well. Be sure to do your blue blue chant before bedtime. We'll be listening. Do I get blue eggs and ham by chance? For breakfast? This place does serve breakfast, right? Are you prepared to show the proper respect to Mr. Carpainter now? Blue, blue. Go blue yourself. We're coming for you, Mr. Carpainter, or I am. Whenever I say we, I mean me and you guys. But it's mostly just Plump here. And his backpack. Okay, so... Can I talk to you? Blue, blue, what? I'm blocking you? Okay, I'll move out of your way. Not everyone is so nice. Blue, blue, I say. Arm the torpedoes, full speed ahead. Or something like that. So now I'll just crush you. Oh, really? The insane cultist boxes us in. Only four damage? You see how effective that bracelet was? Wow. As a kid, I almost never upgraded my gear, it seems like, because I remember getting my butt just kicked in all of these places that I'm stomping through. I made things really hard on myself, apparently. Who do I talk to here? Do I talk to you? I might not be able to get through this way, then. Excuse me, coming through. Don't bother us. We're in the middle of prayer. Okay, I'll move out of your way. Just go quickly. Certainly. Um, I get through here. Blue, blue. Don't disrupt our meeting. I'll stomp on you. I'd like to see it. Yes! The insane cultist curled up in a fetal position and cried himself to sleep. Chanting blue, blue all the while. I think I'm making this tougher on myself than I have to. Who will move? You will move. Blue, blue. I'll stand somewhere else. Blue, blue. Lagoon, blue, blue. Okay, so... What, do I have to talk to you? Blue, blue. What? Are you saying that I'm only capable of walking in place? That's not true, see? Green, green. Oops, that's, that's not it. I'm still new at this, but I'm trying. What do we have here? A skip sandwich. Hmm. I hate leaving those things behind. Even though I haven't used them yet, I will be. You can be assured of it. The Franklin Badge. By keeping it as one of your items, it deflects a lightning attack back at the attacker. I see. The Croissant. When eaten, we recover about 60 hit points. That's actually pretty good. The Hamburger only does 50 hit points, it's 100% beef. However, the legal definition of beef has changed so much that it's probably not the same beef you grew up with. Anybody moving here? I guess I'll just leave it for now. I, I don't need it. Blue, blue. Hey you, anti-blue boy. You're getting on my nerves. With that yellow anti-blue backpack. And that crazy red cap on. That tickles, that, that paintbrush does. Is that made from camel hair? Hmm. Okay, I don't need this to get out of hand here. Quit calling for backup. And just... Just die. Or sleep. Or whatever it is that happens. Turn back to normal. Quit following this crazy cult. Quit painting my clothes. I got this shirt for Christmas. You're ruining it. Uh, I might level up before we get out of here. Hmm. So... Do I have to go around the top there? For some reason it... I think I do. Can I squeeze by here? No? Maybe? Was I just being a dreamer there? I guess so. 
Okay, blue, blue maze. Someone is going to get it. I'm gonna start cracking more skulls here. Take on everybody. Um, I already checked over here, right? Blue, blue. I'm trying to learn how to whistle. I heard that whistling makes one smile. I'll just practice over there. Blue, blue. You strange, unmasked fellow. Don't go to heaven. So apparently I'm going to talk to every single cultist in here. Instead of stumbling upon the correct path, I'm going to go every way but the right way first. That wasn't too bad. We gained 353 experience. I'm, I've got to be leveling up soon. A thousand to go. Hello, you. Blue, blue. Why would a person who's not blue be here? I'm learning. Blue, blue. Your outfit. The color is wicked. Wicked radical, man. Those who aren't believers must not be good. To eternity with you. To the deep blueness you shall go. He called for help, but uh, they all just looked at him and said, We're not messing with that punk kid. Have you seen the baseball bat he's carrying? You see the blood and brains splattered on that bat? That, yeah. Blue, blue, this should wake you up. Ah! I'm not scared of you, blue, blue dude. Yep. Hey, your tie is not blue. You faker. You posing cultist. Hey, you, come here. You're the leader, right? You're the leader of this circle group. Let's see. You can't be happy unless you know happy happyism. How do you know? Um, I think I'm gonna heal up here. I don't know if, how much further we have to go, but I don't think it's very far. I yeah, I just screamed because I didn't know what else to do. What type of receptionist are you? Well, this must be Mr. Carpainter. Thanks for coming, kid. I've been waiting for you. I need your assistance to help make the world blue and change it into a happy and peaceful society. Will you be my right-hand assistant? No, you creepy pedophile. What are you doing with Paige? If you don't want to be my right hand, my left would be just fine. Just kidding. Your existence is a problem for me and my religion. Defy me and I'll end your pitiful game. Oh, really? Carpenter's lightning was reflected by the Franklin badge. He pounces on us, trying to wrestle us to the ground. Crashing boom bang attack. It didn't hit it. The Franklin badge deflected it. it deflected it right back at him. Nice. And Jess, I'm pretty sure you can get into this fight without the Franklin badge if you come here before going to Paige, and you will get yourself destroyed. Oh, I think that was something I used to do as a kid, too. Ow. Actually hit pretty hard. However, I'm hoping that he'll end up killing himself here. Or not. Oh, you've got Psy Shield too, huh? Listen here, you creepy goateed man. With the pom-pom hair. I'm gonna heal up soon. I don't know what he's capable of. Oh wow, I already got him. Okay. <laughs> that was easier than I thought again. 1400 experience. Level 18. The big 1-8. Defense one, hit point by one, side points by two, and we got the power of Psy Flash. I don't know what that's good for. Do you see the Manny Manny statue behind me? 
Well, since I got the statue, I've been doing peculiar things. Please forgive me if you can. I just wanted to have a normal life. I wanted to make people happy. I apologize to everyone. Here's the key to open the jail in the mountain cabin where Paige is being held. Just take the key and go. We got the key to the cabin, yay. You want me to beat you again? Please forgive me, if you can. I just wanted to have a normal life. I'm sorry. Well, I suggest getting rid of the statue. So you're the boy that... That... You went after Mr. Carpainter and... You're awesome! Give me your autograph. Wow, where'd everyone go? Well, it looks like almost everyone woke up and left. What are you guys doing around? There are only three people remaining. I don't want to stay. I'll get out of here. So, the skip sandwich, I can take that now, can't I? Yeah. Oh, because the key is taking up space, right? Well, then. Um... I guess I'll eat the croissant and heal up. It's better than staying at the creepy blue blue inn. Hello, you. Sorry about everything. Let's just be buddies, okay? Okay, Mr. Blue Dude. If you insist. <sighs> what a horrible nightmare. I somehow woke up. Plump. Let's be friends again, okay? Please answer me. I, I promise to be a good friend, okay? Sure, Pokey. I guess. You can still come over for WrestleMania. Ha! Huh, I lied! See you, sucker. You fat, no good-for-nothing jerk. Every single time. I don't know how he got out of there so quick. He can run when he wants to. Let's go get Paige. For that sick creep can beat us back there. He may have given us the wrong key. Are you joking me? Why are there so many flipping birds around here? That is ridiculous. Okay, birds. Good lord. I'm not sure if- I don't really like this. Why are there so many creepy crows around? Aren't crows or ravens a bad sign? And they left me a cookie. Do you want to throw something away? No. Absolutely, I will leave the cookie. Six hit points? Is that some type of tease? Paige! Plump! You got the key! Are you hurt? No, the Franklin badge actually helped. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused you. Don't worry about it. Here, we'll use it. We used... We used the key to the cabin. Thank you, Plump. You're just like I imagined you would be. I'm sure that some people in Tucson are worried about me. Getting back there may be dangerous, but we can do it if we combine our strength. I'm able to use a little psychic power that is actually pretty deadly. Let's just head back to Tucson, then. Okay, get your bear. Paige has joined our party. Paige and her teddy bear. Wow, she is... Um, how do I use... Whoops. Well, that was a complete waste. I was going to say, how do I use her side power outside of combat? But I guess I can't yet. And she's only, what, level 1? Wow, I can't believe she doesn't come leveled up. I had forgot about that. Um... Do I have any items for her? No. Okay, well, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of combat through here. Hopefully she doesn't die. Because I really need her to level up. Oh gosh, it's, it's Fuzzy Stalker again. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Just look at the camera, ready? Say, Fuzzy Pickles. Fuzzy Pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. 
It will always bring back the fondest of memories. <laughs> oh, I don't I don't know about that guy, Paige. He's been stalking me for a while. Um Yeah, there's not really anything we can do about it. Just have to get used to him. Now, see, I don't know. Should I try going through here to Lilliput yet? I don't know. Let's save it. Let's see. Also, let's buy her some some items. She needs some gear to wear. We're going to withdraw a huge amount. 700. And before I save it, let's see. Hello there, how may I help you? Yes. She needs a wonderful frying pan. Here, she comes with a bread roll and a teddy bear. Awesome. Her offense changes from 2 to 12. Nice. And what else can she wear? The ribbon, of course. Beautiful little ribbon in her hair. There we go. Yes. Defense from 2 to 22? Nice. She'd be practically invincible to coil snakes now. And a copper bracelet. Because we need all the defense that we can get. From 22 to 32. I believe that that is it. However, need her to stock up on a few items here too. Okay, croissant. I don't have any space, so Paige can hold it. Now here's my question. What type of condiment could we put on a croissant? The only one I can think of would be jam or butter. Even though gravy is always an option. But I don't think there is a gravy condiment. Dang it, there should be. Okay. I don't need anything else. I'll buy one more. And then we'll leave her just a little bit of space in her inventory for whatever we run across. Which might not be anything. Okay, let's save it. Actually, let's call my mom first. Hello, Plump. So, I heard that you got a new girlfriend on your journey. Well, why don't you tell me about her later? You see, I have this feeling that she is right next to you or something like that. Well, if she is right there, just say hello to her for me. I have to go now. I'm right in the middle of cleaning the toilet. The rings on it are horrible. What are you eating? Oh, well, bye. Okay. I don't need any pizza. I guess I don't need to deliver anything or deposit anything. Okay. She only needs eight. If I could get in a couple happy, happy blue, blue fights, we could get her to level up pretty quickly. Oh, I should have ended it, because I actually am going to end the video here. So, uh, whenever we come back, we will... I don't know what we'll do. We may head back to Tucson, or I may try to head to Lilliput and see if we can go to the sanctuary location there, Little Steps. I don't know yet.